Hey guys, this is James White with Freak Interviews bringing you as seen on TV product reviews and more. Now if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so to get more videos like this. Now today I've got the Cop Cam. It's the compact cordless as seen on TV security camera, but does it really work? Let's find out in today's review. Quick overview of the contents. We have the cop cam itself, and it looks like it's only about an inch square, like they say in the commercial. Got a couple of mounting options. They have a charging unit for it. They have the instructions, some more mounting, and then a USB cable. So the first thing we have to do is charge this up before we can use it. It looks like it already comes with an eight gig micro SD card. Obviously the charger goes right there. So first thing I'm gonna do is charge this up, read the instructions, and then a little bit later, I'll get started my first recording. Let's do it. So before I get into my details of how the cop cam actually works, I figure I'll take it with me on a brief walk and show you just how it looks, and then I'll get into the details. Let's go. Every day, every day. What's up, Brandon? Hey, what's up? Hey, I ran to my son while taking a walk. He's taking a walk too. How's that sun treating your face? Um, good? It's not good. This may not come out, so don't worry about it. All right, so now you've seen how the cop cam kind of looks. Well, let's take a look back at my steps I took to try to figure out if it actually works or not. All right, so for my first test, actually tests, because it was three of them, I just put the cop cam out here in the patio and wanted to see what would happen with Bailey going in and out of the house like she always does. So for my first test at night, it didn't go so well. So my second test is me realizing it didn't go so well and trying it again. And for my third test, I left out of here all day unattended, and that was also a failure. Here's what happened. I'll put it out back here where Bailey kind of roams in and out at her leisure, and I'll see if how it does picking her up. One thing I also already noticed is there's no way to preview what you're seeing, so you have to kind of just guess, which that could be a problem or not. I'm not sure. I'm gonna put it here. It says press and hold for four seconds. Two, three, four. Oh, and the uh, SD card just came out. So hopefully it works. I'm gonna come back a little bit later and see how it goes. All right, it's been about 90 minutes. Let's see how it looks here. And the light is not on. What does that mean? Bailey, what does that mean? I guess I'll go inside and see what the footage looks like. All right, so it's the next day and I went to plug my cop cam in. In fact, you can either take the SD card out and put it in an adapter or you can just plug the entire device into your computer to get the photos off there. Now the instructions say the photos are in a DCIM folder. They're actually in a folder called videos. But when I went to plug this in, there was nothing there. It didn't, it didn't record. So even though the light showed it on, I think the battery may have exhausted before it finished filming, and I'm not sure if that erased everything. I don't know what happened. The charging process is a little bit confusing because if you charge it in the wall versus in your computer, you get two different displays. When it's in your computer, you get an alternating green and red light. When it's charged in the wall, you get a flashing light. But the flashing light also means the battery is low. So if it flashes every one second, I think it's low, and every four seconds it's charged. It's just very confusing. The whole charging process is confusing. So I recommend charging a computer where at least you get the red and green light, which makes more sense. So I made sure it's 100% charged now. I charge it on my laptop. When you're charging your laptop, the light goes out. When you charge it on your, in the wall, the light stays on. I, I, I don't, I, I can't explain that. So anyway, I charge it on my computer and the light went off. So it's 100% charged. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna leave it out here, but this time I'm gonna put this camera next to the cop cam and I'm going to compare them side by side so we can see what the real camera is showing and what the cop cam is showing. I also want to see if the cop cam actually turns on and off because it's supposed to be motion activated and I can't tell because the few tests I've done didn't seem like it was. So let's try that. You hold it down. There's the red light, right? Okay. There's the red light. 
Red light means it's filming. Okay, there's what I got. The cop cam and my main camera. All right, so the cop cam stopped working after about 30 seconds while Bailey was still walking around on the patio. It's been over two minutes. It's only it's supposed to go off after a minute. Let's try. So right here, this is my RX100 5 camera because the cop cam had not turned on yet. All this motion, I'm throwing the ball to Bailey. The cop cam did not pick it up, did not start filming. Bailey ran right up to the camera. I decided I would throw the ball. I'd walk up to the camera myself. It was well over a minute before the cop cam finally turned on. That was right before I was about to stop filming. So as I walked up to the camera for the last time, right here the cop cam turned on. So my son and I are actually just about to leave to go to the home opener of the Golden Knights hockey game. I'm going to leave the cop cam out on my patio all day long. I'll be back for probably 10 or 11 hours. And hopefully I have a lot of video of Bailey walking around out here. If not, something's going on. Let's check it out. Okay, we have a red light. All right, there it is. That's what we'll be seeing. Well, not Bailey the entire time, but Bailey's there for right now. Hi, Bailey. I'm off to the game. I'll see how it looks tonight. Bye, cop cam. This is 15 minutes later and the only time the cop cam activated for motion detection in 11 hours. All right, Bailey. Let's see if you got captured on camera at all. It has been 11 hours. And the light is not on. So how much was filmed today? We'll find out soon enough, right Bailey? So it seemed like while the cop cam was on, the motion detection worked pretty well because there's the scene where Bailey was out here and it turned on, ran for about a minute and turned off. I felt like the audio and the video quality outdoors were not too bad, especially for something its size. But again, I only got about 30 minutes out of 10 hours which makes me wonder how effective this would be as a security camera. And again, a little bit later, I'll tell you how I figured out what that problem was. Another test I wanted to do was actually putting the cop cam and my regular camera right on top of each other and kind of walking around the yard and comparing. Now, I know it's not a fair comparison to compare a $1,000 RX105 with a $40 cop cam, but I think it's actually useful to see how a normal camera would show as far as colors go, as far as a field of view goes, stabilization. So even though it's not really a fair side-by-side -side comparison, you get an idea of how a normal camera looks versus this compact cop cam. So here's how that test went. All right, so what you should be seeing now is if this comes out right, I'll either be swapping back and forth between my camera and the cop cam, or I'll do a split screen. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it yet. But I wanna test out the audio, I wanna test out the video, I wanna see how the colors look. From my first test of the cop cam, Everything looks kind of pink or purple, like this shirt. Does it look black on the cop cam? Because it should look black on the regular camera. How does all the colors look? Because my camera is usually pretty accurate. Let me turn this around and show the yard. It's just some outdoor footage. All right, how does that look? I'm panning right now. I'm panning across the yard. How's the field of vision? Is the cop cam wider? All right, how about just walking? Is it real jumpy? How do the colors look? Oh, the sun's coming out. All right, how about just walking? Is it real jumpy? How do the colors look? Oh, the sun's coming out. How does Bailey look? Does she look the right color? Does she look golden? Bailey, come on, come here. Good girl, look at you. Oh, something else I wanted to point out also is that in the video, as you'll notice, there is a timestamp. And that timestamp is not addressed in the instructions whatsoever. There seems to be no way to set it and no way to turn it off. So you're stuck with this timestamp that is not correct. Mine, I think when I first got it, said January something of 2018. So my timestamp is permanently nine months off. I have no idea how to set it. I have no idea how to turn it off. And there's no mention of the timestamp in the instructions. Now the videos are saved in an AVI format, but my default video player on Windows wouldn't play them. In fact, I had to use the Windows Media Player. So these are set to January 30th, 2018. So I'll just grab the most recent one, the most recent large one, which that looks like it. Here's the thing though. On my system, the default player doesn't play them. So I have to open up the Windows Media Player to get to work on my system. And my video editing software, which is the most recent version of Vegas, also couldn't import them. I actually had to use a conversion software to even get them into my editing program. Now it was lossless conversion, so the video quality should still be 
about the same. I also noticed that the cop cam seems to save video in five minute chunks, which there's nothing wrong with that, that's fine. Each clip was about 500 megabytes, so about one gig per 10 minutes, or 80 minutes of nonstop video on the eight gig card supplied. So I took it out earlier, I wanted to see how long it would film continuously, thinking I might get 80 minutes or longer, but it kept turning off after seemingly random segment. So I think my original test when I had it on the patio and it only worked 30 minutes, I think that's what happened. It filmed up to a, the end of a five minute segment and then shut off. And that seems to be what happened today as well. As I was out, I would check randomly and sometimes it would be off. I'd turn it back on, it would run for a while and turn back off. And it seems like it always ended right at the end of a five minute segment. So maybe when it's saving those files, something goes wrong, I'm not sure but it doesn't stay on all the time. So here's a clip of how that test went. All right, it is 12.29 p.m. on October 6th, and I'm gonna try to see how long the battery lasts by having it in a place where there's constant motion. So we're heading out for a while, and we'll see how it works. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. I, I have a YouTube presence anyway. Okay. Yeah. Why, that's right. That's crazy. <laughs> Let me show you my computer screen and show you what I'm talking about how these clips worked. This is when I went to Starbucks with my kids earlier. So I turned the camera on, we have five, 10, these are all five minute clips, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. After 30 minutes, it shut off. So I manually turned it back on, I went three minutes and then five minutes and then shut off. I discovered it was off, I manually put it on again, it went five, 10, 15, 20 minutes and shut off and then I gave up. So the longest I ever got to last was 30 minutes on its own before it completely turned off and I had to turn it back on manually. I think that's what happened when I went to the hockey game, it went for a while and then turned off. As far as the video quality goes, outdoors black tends to look kind of purplish. Here I am, here's my hat. Does my hat look purple or does it look black? All right, I had to move because the most obnoxious ice cream truck in the universe decided it was going to park right behind me and start selling ice cream with this loud, blaring, annoying music. You're obnoxious. Oh my God, it's coming back. Would you go away? <laughs> anyway, as far as video quality goes, I noticed a few issues. I think that overall looks pretty good and sounds pretty good for a camera its size. But check this out. I'm going to switch over to the cop cam right now. Okay, it's right. In, I'm going to put it right next to my camera lens. So it's looking at me. I think that the field of view isn't as wide as I was expecting. They say 140 degrees. It doesn't look that wide to me. It looks kind of kind of zoomed in. Now someone asked me how long the battery life was, and even if it worked perfectly, it would still be hard to determine that because that would depend on how many things are activating the motion detection. So that could vary even on a perfectly working camera that doesn't turn off by itself. I did try to get the battery life figured out, but because it kept turning off, it was really hard for me to figure that out. I'm gonna use my cop cam audio and video to introduce this next section. I was trying to test out the night vision infrared. Even though the red light stayed on the entire time, only a segment saved. What I wanted to do was stand near the camera, go back 20 feet and walk toward the camera and to see how far away the infrared worked, but I could never seem to get that clip finished. So here's how that went. All right, the last feature I wanna try out is the infrared night vision. I'm only a few feet from the camera right now. Do I look pink like I expect to look? That could be the, one of the reasons why I'm getting a pink hue in some of my daytime shots. Maybe the infrared's kicking in then as well. I'm gonna walk back about 20 feet toward the camera and we'll see when I come into focus when the infrared technology picks me up. Let's check it out. Can you see me? I'm pretty good. I have tried five times to film my closing statement for this section, but it keeps turning off before I have a chance to say what I want to say. I walked from 20 feet to back to the camera, but it turned off before then. For some reason at night, it is not staying on long at all. I was going to say maybe this is a redeeming feature because it's filming some night shots, but I don't think so at this point. It won't even stay on long enough for me to actually figure it out if it works or not. All right, so that's all I've got. Let's take a look at some of the pros and cons. Unfortunately, there's a lot more cons than pros. I would say the pros would be that the video quality and the audio quality really aren't that bad for something this small. I also like the fact that they give you an 8 gig card right out of the box. That's about as far as my pros go. Now the list of cons is kind of extensive. First up, I think that it's kind of unfortunate that there's no way to preview what you're looking at because as you saw, sometimes I would be off-centered. I wasn't always aiming it properly. The fact that there's a timestamp on here that you can't seem to adjust or turn off and it's not accurate is also unfortunate. Maybe there is a way of doing it, but it's not covered in the instructions. 
One minor complaint is that the SD card doesn't sit flush. So when you go to push the button, if it's on a surface, the SD card comes out. So you have to hold it in your hand. There's a photo mode that I was never able to even get to work. Supposedly you hold it down for two seconds for photo mode, four seconds for video mode. But to me, it goes right into video mode. There is no photo mode that I ever saw. So I don't know if maybe if I hold it down longer, it turns off. So I couldn't figure out how to get the photo mode to even work. In some lighting conditions, everything seems kind of pink or purple. In some lighting conditions, everything looks fine. My default Windows Movie Player on two of my computers would not play these files right out of the box. I had to use the Windows Media Player, which is not my default video viewer. And when I went to edit the videos, my program also couldn't read them. So it seems like they're using a codec that isn't really that common for the AVA files. The charging is kind of weird because depending on where you charge it, you'll get two completely different sets of indications, which is kind of confusing for some people, including me. So to me, this feels kind of like a prototype that was never completely finished. There's a lot of small issues. I think if they were fixed, it would be a good product. Maybe they'll do that for another run or for a second version. But for right now, it's not a product that I would particularly recommend. Have you used a cop cam or something like it? Tell me what you think in the comments below. And please check out my social profiles for progress, pictures, and videos as I go. And also check out my brand new Patreon page, which was just launched. Please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews.